Hello everyone, my name is SN Patil. In this video lecture, we will discuss normal form and how to find rank of the matrix by using normal form. So first of all, we see the definition of normal form. Normal form of a matrix by performing sequence of elementary transformation on the any non-zero matrix and reduced to the matrix to the one of this following form is known as a normal form of the matrix. We have any matrix, non-zero matrix, suppose we apply the sequence of elementary transformation. It may be a row transformation, column transformation. Applying the elementary transformation, we reduce the matrix to the identity matrix. These are the identity matrix. Okay. And here the suffix. Suffix is a order of that identity matrix. Also, the R is a rank of that matrix. Let us see the example how we can find rank of the matrix by normal form. We have the question find the rank of the A using normal form where capital A is equal to. In this problem, we reduce this rectangular matrix to the identity matrix. So we want one here, first row of the first element. We must have the one. Already one is present. So Taking help of this one, we convert below entry into zero. How we get the zero here? Here, we perform the row transformation. This is row number two. Okay. How we get the zero here? When this row two minus, here when we multiplied three, that is R2 minus three times R1. And how we get the zero here? When we take the addition R3 plus R1. Okay, we performing this two operation on the matrix, then the e equivalent matrix by performing this two operation is the operation on the second and third row, first row as it is, we write first row as it is, 1, 2, minus 1, 3. Okay, now here 3. And we multiplied 3 throughout here, first row, 3 minus 3, that is 0. Now 4 minus 6, 4 minus 6, that is minus 2, 0, and minus, 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 plus, that is plus 3. Now here minus 1, and we multiplied here 3, that is 9, minus 1, and minus 9, minus 10. Okay, now third row, third row here, which is obtained by addition of third and first row. Minus 1 plus 1, 0. Now 0 plus 2, that is 2. Minus 1 and minus 1, that is minus 3. 7 and 7 and plus 3, that is 10. Okay. Now after performing the row transformation, immediate perform the column transformation. We want 0 here, here and here. So here we perform the column transformation. So how we get the zero here? This is the column number two. We perform the column operation, column transformation, C2 minus two times C1. How we get the zero here? This is column number three. We just add the column number first. And how we get the zero here? That is column number four minus three times C1. Okay, which is equivalent to the matrix. Here operation perform on second, third and fourth column. First column is as it is 1, 0, 0. Okay. Now here uh, 2 and here we multiplied by 2. 2 minus 2, 0. Now here these two entries are 0. So that keep this entry as it is. There will be no change because uh, uh, C2 minus uh, 0 here. So here keep this entry as it is. There will be no change minus 2, minus 2. Okay, now here we take the addition minus 1, plus 1, 0 and keep this matrix as it is because here, here 0 is here. That is uh, 3, minus 3. Here last C4 and we multiplied by 3. That is 3 minus 3, here 0. 
and keep these entries as it is. Okay. So column transformation is very easy. Just write the uh, uh, column transformation operation and immediate write 0, 0 and remaining matrix. This matrix is as it is. Okay. Now we want the second row of the second element. We want here 1. So how we get the 1 here? When we multiplied the second row. Second row by minus 1 by 2. That is we divide minus 2. That is the second row. Sorry, second column. Second column we multiplied by minus 1 by 2. Okay. Now which is equivalent to the matrix. 1, 0, 0. We divide this column by 2, minus 2, 0, minus 2 divided by minus 2, that is 1. Here 2 upon minus 2, minus 1, and remaining column as it is 0, 3, minus 3, uh, 0, minus 10, and plus 10. Okay, we got the second row of the second element, that is leading element. We got the 1. Now taking help of the 1, now uh, convert this minus 1 into 0. Okay, so what is the operation? This is row number 3. Okay, and don't take the help of the row number 1. Okay, so here we take the help of the second row. That is R3. Here opposite sign we take the addition R3 plus R2. Otherwise how we get the 0? We just take its addition. So which is equivalent to the matrix. Uh, 1, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, 3, minus t, 10. Now here 0. Now minus 1 plus 1, 0. Minus 3 plus 3, 0. 10, uh, minus 10, 0. Okay. Now the next is we want 0 instead of 3. And we want 0 here instead of minus 10. So we perform the column transformation. That is, this is column number 3, C3. And take the help of the second column. Don't take the help of first column here. Otherwise, one will reflect here. Always take the second column help. Okay. For the second row of the second element is 1. Okay. So, here uh, C3. Here multiplied by 3. C3 minus two, uh, 3 times C2. And how we get the 0 here? This is C4. Uh, sign is opposite. Take addition and multiplied by 10 here. 10 times C2 which is equivalent to the matrix. The operation on the uh, third and fourth column, write uh, uh, first two column as it is, 1, 0, 0 as it is, uh, 0, 1, 0 as it is. Now here 3 and we multiplied by 3, 3 minus 3, 3 minus 3 is 0. Now here uh, first uh, entry as it is 10 and here we multiply 10 and we take its addition, minus 10 plus 10 here, 0. And here 0. Okay. 0 plus 0, 0 that is. Okay. So how uh, we get here uh, equivalent form, uh, sorry, normal form, it can be written as in the block form is I2. This is the 2 by 2 identity matrix 0, 0, 0, so which is required equivalent, uh, sorry, which is required normal form, normal form of given matrix of a given matrix okay and the rank of the matrix a is equal to order of the identity matrix here the order of identity matrix is 2 okay in this way we can find the rank of the matrix by using normal form we reduce the given matrix by performing sequence of elementary row as well as column transformation and reduce this matrix to the identity matrix. Okay. And once we got the identity matrix, the order of that identity matrix is rank of the matrix. Thank you. Thanks for watching.